My name is uh, Jackson Chifunda. I'm studying heavy equipment engineering at Northern Tekinko College. As you can see, I'm with my friend here. My name is uh, Laston Chipolo. I'm doing heavy equipment repair at Northern Technic College. Uh, this component is what we call an hydraulic cylinder. An hydraulic cylinder, this is the mechanical actuator that is used to give and directional force through and directional stroke. So I'll begin by disassembling this component. Afterwards, uh, we are going to identify all the internal components that are in this cylinder. First step, I'm going to secure this cylinder on a vise. We are going to remove this cap by untightening the cap bolts. This is 0 0.8 Allen key. So since this one is strong, we can't untighten it using our own hands. We have to use uh, what we call mallet hammer. Okay, now use our hands to remove these bolts. Since we have removed all the bolts, and uh, we can now pull uh, this piston rod using the rod eye so that it becomes very easy for us to remove this cap since we want to remove this cap so we have to pull this you need someone to help you pulling this so when pulling this make sure that you have a cloth any piece of cloth or any anything like a mountain cloth so that you use it when holding the, the, the rod. Make sure you put it on a bench where there is no dust. As you can see, this cup has got seals. This is what we call cup seals. And then checking outside here, it has got a seal, this one. This is what we call a wiper seal. This wiper seal is used to remove all the dead components that are found on a rod. Coming this side, we've got this component. This component is what we call a piston. That's the reason why we call this assembly as a piston rod, because it has got two parts. It has got a piston, it has, got so, it has, it has also a rod here. This piston has got seals. If you see properly, it has got seals. This is what we call piston seals. This is what we call piston band in between here. So these seals, they help in sealing the internal part there to prevent the flow of fluid from this side to the other side during extension and also retraction. So it has got a seal inside. That seal is what we call a O-ring. It's a ring, or at the same time, it's a seal. We call it a O-ring. The main function of this piston, it is where fluid pressure acts. Once, it, once fluid pressure acts behind this, it allows this piston rod to extend. It also used in retraction process. The other fluid comes from the retraction port and also acts behind this piston in order to detract this load back to its normal position. 